following two steps to rotoscope today, selecting the clips and rotoscoping and keyframing. So let's get to okay, it. Okay, welcome guys. So um, basically we got to start out by putting our footage into a new composition. I'm just going to re rename this to the footage layer and I'm going to retime it and I'm only going to do a few seconds for um, shortness of this tutorial. Okay, so we have 25 frames, about a little more, uh, might be 28. Alright, so we just have this basic shot of uh, this Lego person, and I was doing this in art, and uh, I decided to green screen, uh, just so it wouldn't be like a weird background, but uh, I ran into a problem where that um, if I green screened it, say using key light, so keying key light, and there's a green screen tutorial you can check out right here, uh, annotation. Um, the park is green, and uh, this yellow thing is green. So if I actually did this, uh, it'd be really screwed up everywhere. So uh, I'll just turn that off. And uh, so there's a problem there. And I knew that I couldn't just straight out mask it because that'd take forever. And uh, so I decided to use the roto brush tool. And uh, I know I've done a tutorial before on this, but not really a tutorial, it's sort of an in video thing, but it wasn't really detailed. So I decided to uh, make a tutorial. Right? So you want to go up here, press the roto brush tool, um, and you want to double click on your layer down here, your footage. Uh, before you do that, you want to take your uh, backdrop and put it right there. All right? So click, double click on your footage, and then you have this backdrop that you want to uh, erase, or anything that you want to erase, anything in here, you can just delete. So uh, I'm just going to select this bit, just hold it down, and... Um, I'm not going to do it completely perfect at all, I'm going to do it terribly, honestly. Uh, it takes time and effort to do this, and uh, which none of it I have right now. And uh, I'm just going to, you want to make sure you're starting at the beginning, that's something I did not do. So your footage might be longer, you can see sometimes in there you might get something. So you can always press alt, and just press it, and then uh, just try and move it. And so it looks pretty decent uh, for the most part. There's some little squiggly somewhere, uh, somewhere in here. So what you want to do is you want to go to your roto brush. So your roto thing right here. Uh, it help if I just uh, take took that out. And you can always feather it. And a good thing to do is to refine the mat, and that makes it more sharp. Um, but you'll notice if you go back to your composition everything but that is uh there so you want to click invert foreground and background so it looks like this so it's pretty nice pretty basic i would say and uh your black backgrounds under that it'll probably be transparent if you remove it yeah like that so that's what we have right now and uh thanks for watching please rate subscribe comment and i'll see you guys later uh hope this tutorial helped you it's gonna take a lot of time and effort if you do a bigger project than 25 frames uh but i just wanted to show you the basics so uh that's pretty much it thanks for watching please rate subscribe comment and i'll see you guys later cool. more zombies up ahead why are we so racist